day is done. I mean, night is done. <laughs> uh, now I'm just waiting for the bus to come. Oh, I missed my bus. Okay. <laughs> so the problem with the buses are they will not stop um, at any other stop rather than their designated stops. So I was standing in another bus stop which I thought would come faster but my other bus came earlier than expected and just moved past me. Yeah, the bus will come around every 15 minutes so yeah standing here for the next 15 minutes for the bus to come now let's get back to when it all started walking to night shift it's like completely dark outside the night shift starts around 9 30. today i'm doing a peak night shift so it means that I'll be doing the admission part of a uh, medical admission unit where the patients will be coming from emergency department or some other places if they're directly coming here. I'll see them, I'll take history and do necessary investigations and stuff like that during the night time as far as you can do. And in the morning when the consultant comes, then I'll do the post take ward round with them as well. So normally the shift ends around 9.30 to 9 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock the consultant comes and then with the next hour we see the patients that I have seen overnight and gets done. As a part of my night shift I also take part in cardiac arrest team. So the medical registrar and some SHOs make up a cardiac arrest team. So they go to any medical emergency or cardiac arrest if happens around the uh, hospital at night we go and see the patients and manage them so that also a highlight of the night shift if you are a part of the cardiac arrest team you know somebody arresting somewhere or there's any medical emergency then you go see the patient so it could be in any medical ward or it could be any surgical ward as well so medical emergency is kind of universal the walk to my hospital takes 20 to 25 minutes um, and I generally like to walk. Uh, uh, today is Sunday so the bus is not that frequent uh, and you know it's probably 6 or 5 degrees Celsius outside but it doesn't feel that cold. reached the hospital. I'm now walking towards changing room. It's completely empty, especially because it's Sunday. Let's see how it goes.
I'll change now. Now I'll be going to the handover room. So around at 9.30, um, all the day cover doctors will sit down and we'll discuss about any unwell patient in the hospital somewhere where they want to hand over to the night team. Um, there are night cover doctors as well, so uh, who will be looking after uh, uh, the patients in um, different medicine wards, but I particularly will not be doing that today. I'd be doing the admission aspect of the medical admission unit. So you'll see me doing um, admitting patients uh, from ED to medical admission unit and uh, and also looking after the patients that I got admitted. So it's quite different than the cover shift. So fundamentally, there are two types of shifts. One is a medical take shift and the medical cover shift. Now I'm walking towards the handover room because there might be some patients in medical admission unit who I need to get handover from, but more often than not, there is another doctor who's covering that as well. So I'll be really particularly only looking after or admitting patients rather than looking after any patient overnight. Before I go to the admission handover room, I would go to doctor's mess first to drop my bag and my jacket. to have something to eat. Here in our mess we have a small kitchen where we get supplies for foods and stuff um, and also like, yeah, if you bring your own food then you can warm it up, you can make some tea, coffee, all the supplies are always replenished by the mess committee. Finally, got some time to sit down and have a break, had something to eat, drink, replenish and taking some rest as well before I go back to um, MAU and see the rest of the patients. So uh, let me tell you about a bit descriptive what I'm doing step by step. So whenever I came um, first around at 9.30, uh, there was a handover meeting where everybody sat down and uh, like you know the day team exchange information with the night team about any unwell patient to be uh, aware about so mainly that was the cover team that was having the discussion uh, so cover team means the the doctors who is covering uh, wards uh, at a daytime and also in the night time so in night time uh, we have three cover doctors covering the entirety of the medical wards along with covid wards as well but on MAU side of things, we have two doctors and two registrar, two junior doctors, so two senior house officers or SHO level equivalent. Uh, we are seeing patients who are being admitted through ED. So whenever a patient comes, uh, it comes up on our system. So ED has a system of their own when the patient comes via ambulance and they receive. And what happens in ED, uh, if the patient goes home, they goes home from there. So this ED system. Once the, the patient is deemed that the patient is admission to medicine ward, then from ED it comes to our system. So we have a separate system um, online where we can see which patient needs to be seen. So obviously it's indicated which bed the patient is. There's some information like their name, their hospital number, their age, and general um, additional information about like, you know, why the patient got admitted to MAU. Then I go there and maybe speak to the nurse in, in, in charge of that bay, like, you know, do you know anything about the patient or just mainly just 
find the notes that ambulance um, note or the patient's ED clerking bits and all the other places. So admission involves writing into a specific booklet. As you can see on the screen, there are two types of booklet. One is for patients, it's a general admission um, booklet, uh, and especially made one is for elderly patient or frail patient or any patient over the age of 65, which contains more um, uh, information. So we basically follow it uh, along and put the information. So it helps you to get the history from the patient and what pertinent information you need to document. For example, like allergies, what medication they're on, uh, their social history, uh, and obviously you have to the spaces to document your um, examination and also past medical history and obviously uh, history of presenting complaint and everything right now. So once we go through this booklet, at the end of the booklet, there is a place to put differential diagnosis and your management plan, um, or what you want to do. So as a take patient, we do come up with our own management plans and what we think are all differential diagnosis. So at night time, it will not be checked by anybody. If I am concerned about something, like, you know, if I'm, if I'm thinking about that, whether we, I should do this or not, I can speak to my medical registrar about this and discuss the case, um, like, you know, this patient presented with this and that, and I think this is what's happening. Or if it's a very acutely unwell patient, then obviously we'll discuss with my medical registrar uh, and, and come up with a uh, solution what to be done. But uh, after the night ends in the morning, there will be another round, which is called post-take ward round, where the acute physician in charge, or who is the acute physician of the day, uh, will see the patient with the post-take. So it, they come around at eight o'clock. So if I'm, um, uh, like, you know, I have seen, say for example, seven, eight or nine patients, and probably I'll choose the one that I think that needs to be directly seen. Um, and depending on what kind of specialty uh, I, I think the patient needs to be seen. There are specific specialties in our hospital. They do specialty-specific post-take. So if I decide, no, this patient is best to be seen by a neurology consultant, uh, so I can choose that overnight, and in the morning, there will be a list generated for neurology consultant to see the post-take part down, and I don't have to be there. Neurology consultant will come with the neurology registrar and junior doctors and see the patient. So they have a fixed number sometimes, or sometimes, depending on, uh, like, you know, what specialty. So specific specialties do this kind of specific uh, specialty post-take ward round, which kind of makes the life of um, acute medicine physicians easier, because sometimes, you know, uh, after the consultation that will come that, you know, this patient needs to be seen by cardiology, and there's nothing much an acute physician would be able to input or would be able to do because it's a specialist case. So in those kind of scenarios, it's, it quite helps with the, the patient flow and, and like, you know, the patient reaches to the specific specialist quite early on in their travel into the hospital. So um, after this break, I'll go back to MAU. And if the MAU take the, the list of the patient needs to be seen in MAU, uh, is done, then we will move to emergency department because uh, there are some patients sitting in emergency department who has been deemed fit, to, or not deemed fit, I say, um, there's some patients sitting in emergency medicine who has, who they have decided to send them over to MAU, but there is no bed here. So we go to um, ED and see the patient there as well and do the same bits and prepare it. And in the system, we mark it that I have seen the patient and the patient needs to have a post take ward round. And in the morning, when the consultant comes and sits um, uh, on the system, they'll be able to see which patient they need to see.
going on my second break. It's been been quite busy. There's been constant influx of patients coming in. Yeah, I just need to calm down for some time. done <laughs> just finished the morning handover when the day team came and uh, we kind of discussed again if there's anything happened overnight uh, there's a, a checklist for the consultant during the day to go through so we discussed if there was any incident that happened overnight that needed discussing uh, how's the stuffing and everything so it's basically just a morning handover round Finally, it just took another half an hour waiting for the bus. I don't know, bus normally comes um, every 15 minutes or so. Woo! So I just might finish uh, three nights in a row. I worked Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And now I have Monday off, Tuesday off, Wednesday off. And Thursday and Friday I took annual leave. Yeah! <laughs> so this entire week off and Saturday, Sunday. Fantastic. So if you have any questions regarding working in the UK, please do put your comments below. And uh, I hope you know already that we have opened a forum called Road to UK Forum where there are hundreds of international medical students and doctors who discuss about their career or have any questions or anything like that and uh, just go over there and make an account and ask away if you haven't already subscribe to our youtube channel for this type of awesome videos follow us on facebook twitter and instagram thank you